Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. Well, quadruple expiration, and with that, we're seeing some pressure in the SPX. Nothing too pronounced at this point, but we are seeing some downside momentum, and with that, we're seeing the VIX cash pushing higher. Hovering right around 20, we did see it over 20 briefly when the SPX was on its lows. The SPX has come off the lows here at midday, and with that, the VIX cash holding right around 1975. But interesting dynamic, when you look at realized volatility, 30-day realized volatility is down to 8%. So there's quite a disconnect here between realized volatility and what the implied levels are holding around 20. Uh, so that's an interesting dynamic as we move into post-expiration next week. Also, at the money straddle in the SPX, 14.8%, and that's elevated relative to recent readings. Again, demand for at the money options in the SPX remains pretty robust, uh, even as we move through expiration. Looking at the futures market in the VIX, the VIX futures market, the roll market between October and November is in 30 cents today. We're seeing that narrow uh, to a dollar 20. Demand for the uh, October future more so than the November future, although we are seeing the entire futures curve shifting a little bit and flattening as we are seeing November, October, November, and December futures a little higher than the uh, 2022 futures. Also, and another interesting dynamic is the VIX futures are holding a premium to cash even at these elevated levels. So we are seeing those futures continuing to shift higher, that curve shifting higher with the cash moving up. Looking at BVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, 117, that's up four points on the session. But if you look at it over the last couple of months, 117 is really in the middle of the range. So nothing too pronounced as far as demand for VIX options. We are seeing pretty steady action though in November here. November in the money and out of the money puts very active. And then we're also seeing October out of the money calls and way out of the money calls in November and December trading pretty actively today as well. Next week, I want to point out, Fed meeting will be the big mover next week. I think the market's anticipating that. That's why we're seeing volatility holding up. We also have the market under some pressure. And I also want to point out, the 50-day moving average in the SPX comes in at 44.37. So we're just above that right now. So I think that's another dynamic why we're seeing vol elevated as we move into next week.